Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Daily Sales Crew Management System, otherwise known as DSFIMS. This particular sheet that we're looking at here today uh, will be without alcohol. Uh, there is a uh, program that you can use with alcohol. Some folks that do carry alcohol in the restaurant, uh, the only difference between this sheet and the other one is that the other one will have alcohol uh, attached to it. All right, so let's start off today with the instructions tab. Basically, uh, this will be a step-by-step -step instructions on how to use our program. For folks that do not have a way to open up Microsoft Excel, there is an alternative. You can download this link and uh, download Microsoft Open Office, uh, which is a free software. Or if you want to purchase the program, go to next tag on this link, and there will be a bunch of other sites that you can compare prices and look for the best uh, deal possible. Okay, uh, down below, uh, we're going to talk today about on how to use the program. This is a step-by-step, -step, how to use the program, how to store the program, uh, how to unlock the sheets uh, to make changes and protect. Uh, if you need to uh, tailor make it according to your business needs, just unlock it if you're familiar with uh, Excel. If you're not, you can surely contact us here at the Workplace Wizards, and for a small uh, fee, we'll go ahead and help make you uh, do these changes for you. Uh, two ways to protect the sheets, etc., but we recommend uh, not changing it with a password. If you use a password uh, and you forget that password, uh, you will not be able to retrieve it. Uh, if this happens, uh, we will give you another copy of this program for free. Just uh, let us know what's going on, and we'll uh, download another one for you. Here's our uh, customer service number. Okay, let's start off with the calendar here. Uh, one of the cool features that you got is that you can filter the dates. Uh, if there's a particular day that you're looking for, like day five uh, or four, uh, we're going to hit OK, and it's just giving you the information for day four. Um, and it goes for the same if you're looking for a particular month. All right, let's go ahead and select all, get the calendar back. Uh, some of the information if you want to log in here are truck orders, delivery dates, uh, out of product information. Um, it's very important that each manager read this uh, calendar per day um, before they take over the shift. There could be a reservation day on there, uh, certain information that the general manager or your district manager may leave uh, for you to read. So just get in the habit of checking this every day and see what type of information uh, that needs to be passed on to you folks. Uh, we have a cool feature right here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Excel will not allow us to put a live clock in there. So what we've done was is added this feature. Um, every time that you go into the program, it automatically updates the, the date and the time. If you're in the program for a length of time and you want to know the uh, actual time, uh, just hit F9. Uh, for instance, I'll look at uh, 11 o'clock. I'll hit F9 now. It changes it to 11.01, which is the actual time. All right. The other feature that we have up here is your restaurant's name. So uh, I've already typed the restaurant's name in here. Uh, once you do so, it's going to automatically populate to every single page uh, anywhere that uh, Workplace Wizards is supposed to go. Uh, including all the way down to the last page, uh, which is your uh, your chart for your customer account. All right, uh, we're going to talk about your monthly sales uh, very quickly. Uh, this date is automatically going to be put in by you. Once you do this, it's good for the month. Uh, one of the cool features is I'm going to show you. We're going to go ahead and put uh, 0802. Bear with me. I'm going to cast. Um, Start over. All right. Sorry about that. It's hard to type in the cast, folks. 0802-2012. There we go. All right. Watch these dates right here. The Saturday, Sunday, Monday. They're going to change on you. Uh, we did this because some restaurants don't start on a Monday. They may start the week off on Sunday or whatever day they choose. So you can just put the date in there and automatically change it all throughout the sheet, as you can see, going all the way down to... Here and up to the week five, it changes it automatically. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, this is a weekly sheet, so once you store it and you bring your new weekly sheet up, you'll have to uh, uh, reset your time and your, your restaurant's name. All right, so 
Let's talk about the sheet a little bit. We have your daily sales. For folks that have alcohol, right under the daily sales will be your alcohol, your beer, liquor, beer, and wine. Uh, all the way to the right, uh, of course, you're looking at your your total and your percent. And it also gives your your uh, week to date total and your percent there as well. Um, all automatically, just kind of enter the figures and that's it. You got your uh, sales tax, if there was one, uh, liquor or alcohol would be right underneath a little bit called uh, alcohol sales tax. Uh, you got your distributed goods sold, deposits received, charged tips owed, total receipts. So basically, uh, this is your total receipts between sales and tax and whatnot. Down below are uh, miscellaneous discounts and losses, your coupons, comp foods, if you add alcohol, be comp alcohol. Employee meals, manager meals, credit card chargebacks. Now I left two spots here for other in case there's something else you want to slip in. So you got your total. This is your net total. Your net total is derived from your receipts total minus your discounts and losses equal to your net loss, your net total. This is what you're actually going to uh, compare it to. So this is what you need to have. Uh, down below are your tangible items, your credit cards, uh, cash deposit, credit cards redeemed. Um, and so that's your total cash and credit cards received. So basically your order of shortness derived from your total cash and credit cards received uh, minus your 1025, which is zero. You're not sure you're over. But over, as you notice, our days will short uh, some money. And then overall, the week to day is negative $5. Not bad. <coughs> Excuse me. You got your uh, customer accounts with your week to date uh, total there, and your average check, so it figures your average checks based on sales, uh, so it would be customer count divided by uh, your sales, uh, 984. If you had alcohol, it would include your alcohol sales as well. All right, now, uh, as you can see, there is uh, approximately five weeks to this. So you got week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, if it extends that far. Uh, once you're done with these sheets, uh, uh, Go back to the instruction sheet and it'll actually tell you how to store it. Uh, then you reopen the sheet uh, using a template and then uh, you start fresh for the month. Make sure that you uh, start a file on your front uh, desktop uh, and just label it appropriately and make sure your monthly sheets go in there so that way you have easy access for future uh, in case you need it. Get your vendor's log, uh, you got your uh, food, your paper, your chemicals, other in case you want to change it. Uh, down below here are your uh, before your credit and then after your credit. I would uh, suppose that you're probably going to use the after credit figure uh, because there are businesses that uh, want to know where they stand after they receive money. So your true figure, I believe, would be after the credit. Okay, uh, just remember all these figures from the monthly daily vendors log all uh, is linked into the various parts of this uh, uh, system. Food cost tips, uh, some useful information here for you to read in case you're new uh, in the restaurant business or you're a restaurant startup. Example on uh, what we're going to do on the next page. So you can read this, useful information here as well, uh, tips and whatnot. Your food, weekly food count sheet, uh, basically performed by sheet number uh, one, if that's the case, area. Uh, walking freeze or whatever in your date. So you got your walking count right here. All you're going to do is you're going to set up your system initially with all your product codes and your product name and your packaging. All right, and you're going to do that for every area. So you got your freezer product count there. You got your uh, dry storage there. You've got your kitchen. You got your prep area. You got your service aisle and dining room. All right, if you need to add rows, all you're going to do is just unprotect the page, uh, click, right click here, and you're going to uh, insert a page. And it inserts pages without disturbing the cells. Uh, if you're looking to delete rows, uh, just the opposite, delete the row. Um, so, uh, all you're going to do is you're going to go to File up here, uh, you're going to hit Print, and it'll print the whole sheet for you. And then once you're done printing it, then you're going to Pick it on a clipboard and you're going to walk around your areas and do your inventory. Just remember, it's a one-shot deal when you enter this information in. Uh, if you need to delete a product off because you're no longer selling it, do so. If you're looking to uh, add a product, just add a row and add a product. And that's it. 
All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at your weekly food input sheet. All these figures that you're seeing in this blue shaded are uh, populated from the uh, food count sheet, so you don't have to ever touch anything here. So basically, uh, when you get here, I believe there is a price. No, nope, no price. So you're going to have to put your prices in. A one-shot deal on your prices. Now, once you put your prices in, go ahead and protect it. Um, that way, you, you, it's safe from automatic deletion or if you accidentally do it. All right. So, and the only time you're going to actually uh, change these prices is when your vendor gives you a price change sheet. Uh, you get your quantity, it automatically figures everything out for you. You got your uh, week one walking total here, your accumulation right here. These two figures should always match. Uh, and so on for every department. And then towards the bottom of this, you have week one uh, total for the walking. This is at a glance, it's a lot quicker. Uh, freezer, dry storage, total, kitchen prep, service area, dining room, and then you got your total. Now we also have another one of these sheets uh, exactly for your alcohol which would be a weekly count sheet for alcohol, weekly food and uh, count sheet for your alcohol, if you carry alcohol. We have a paper count area. Uh, we recommend doing this monthly or yearly. Not all restaurants do it weekly. All right, but we also have uh, the same scenario. Uh, we have a paper input sheet right here. Same scenario. All you got to do is put your prices and your quantity. All this other information that you see in the blue automatically populates, and it's automatically uh, uh, protected. And now, just like uh, uh, your food count sheet, uh, rather your food input sheet, uh, your paper count sheet has five weeks. Uh, we also added uh, a feature for your uh, sort box for just your products. So if you're looking for a particular code, put it in, or a particular pro uh, item, put it in, and it's only going to bring up that line. That's all it's going to do. Uh, it, it's much quicker and it's more, more efficient. You got your uh, percentile page right here. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your beginning inventory from your ending inventory from the previous month. That's all that is. Everything else automatically populates. Uh, the only thing you need to do is put your uh, manager who did the inventory there for, uh, for future reference. You got your paper cost right there and a little bit of instructions and tips. All right, uh, let's go to the next area. We've got the instructions on how to use the weekly comparison charts. Uh, just a little bit of information uh, to help you guide you through a little bit easier. Uh, we have your weekly sales comparison. Uh, this is a live snapshot, so anytime you enter something in, it automatically takes the bar up and down, gives you uh, the dollar amount. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to compare two, week two to week one, see if you went up or went down. Um, you can also use it as a guide to let you know uh, where your opportunities are. Maybe you need to push more sales. Maybe you need to move things around on your menu. Or maybe you have a theft problem. So it's an indicator. Um, uh, weekly food cost, or rather coupon. You got one for coupons, one for food comps, uh, and you've got one for guest counts. And you got even one for the uh, um, cash or minus. That's your guest count right there, and that's your cash plus or minus. Uh, a helpful tool to let you know what's going on in your business. Um, it's easier to compare right here because it gives you a snapshot. All right, so I think we uh, went over everything on the spreadsheet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're looking for any more information, please feel free to contact us at uh, contact us at workplacewizards.com or you can uh, contact us the uh, uh, toll-free number 1-800-753-0657. Thank you. Have a great day.